Clary Ann with Pink Dahlia Soaps here. Welcome to my channel. I hope you are well. Today's soap is inspired by calico corn or flint corn. It's that pretty colorful corn that you see mostly used as decoration during the fall season. I'm dispersing the colorants with the oils from the measured out oils that I'll be using for the base of the soap. And I'm going for a dried corn husk look. I'm adding color stabilizer to the fragrance oils, which are a mixture of cornbread and something called Autumn Day, which is oak, citrus, and golden amber. It smells really good. It's a nice mixture that reminds me of autumn. And here is the humongous calico corn embed made with stack upon stack of soap dough ropes. I will show you very quickly how I made it. Aw, oh, shucks. Nothing on my embed tray. Now for some quick piping. Nothing fancy. I'm just trying to make it look like some ragged corn husks. Mandatory motion sickness inducing shaky shot. Three days later, let's cut this soap. Ooh, this soap is amazing. Get it? Maze? Corn? Ah. There are a couple kernels loose in the middle of that first bar, which I knew I was running the risk of that happening since I didn't actually set the embed into a base of soap. I just put it into the bottom of the mold and then poured soap around it. I can always go back and fix it with a little bit of soap dough if needed. I cannot believe fall is here already. And pretty soon winter will be here and I don't like winter even though I am a winter baby. I was born in December. I don't like the cold. I live in the Midwest. It's freezing. Uh, I need to move. <laughs> but that's probably not going to happen for a long time. But I'm mentioning the fall season because with it comes all of the holidays. But before I start making soaps inspired by the upcoming holidays, I will be making a soap that was suggested by one of you. I cannot wait to give that one a go. Hopefully I can pull it off. We will see. But until then, as always, thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, or leave a comment below. And I can't wait to see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.